I've been following Touch since 1995 myself, and back then I was really underwhelmed. When you think about Touch, you thought about these thick, dark screens smeared with jelly donut, you know, and at banks and public places like that. And what I miss is the fact that someday people would want to access their own electronic information wherever and whenever they needed it. And I think it's something very fundamental that people control their environments in part by touch. They gather information by sight, by hearing, but they like to use their hands to, in order to change things. And that's why I think touch, the combination of the smartphone, these slate computers, and these new devices is, is turning into what I would say the new intuition, as that's the way you, uh, you interact with information. There's different ways uh, that you can create a touch event, but the one that I think that's most important for the consumers today is the capacitance touch, where uh, you set up a, a voltage uh, in the screen, and when the finger approaches it, the, the human body actually becomes part of the electrical circuit, and there are sensor devices that can, uh, can get information uh, from that. Now, the reason that capacitance is taken over is that it works well at low voltage. Uh, it's also very accurate uh, with the, uh, with the uh, new circuitry and new uh, uh, driver chips that have been available. Uh, also, it allows what's called multi-touch, where you can not just one finger creating an event. You can do movement, you can have multiple fingers, and you can have a lot more information transmitted from the human user uh, into the device and the application. What we're going to be seeing, instead of just limited to small screens, we're going to see touch growing, eliminating the bounds. We're going to be seeing touch in all sorts of devices other than uh, the traditional display-centric devices and clearly things like refrigerators and working areas and just about anywhere that where you would like to access electronic information or you'd like to interact with the appliance or uh, information from any other source, we're going to see touch integrated. Now, there's another advance that's coming that's called haptic uh, technology where when you touch the screen there might actually be some mechanical feedback uh, to the user to know that he really has created an, uh, uh, an, an event. And I think this is one of the uh, more exciting innovations that's occurring in touch that people are, are now uh, going to be able to get some feedback from the screen instead of just hoping or wishing that they're, that the, uh, that, uh, they're imparting the information that they want uh, to the electronic uh, uh, database. There's a major challenge in terms of the scalability of these devices, as well as driving the cost down uh, to uh, the minimum level. And I think that Corning is going to have some pretty darn good ideas to help the industry make that happen.